Okay, I'm going to try and see if I can get a rundown on everything that I picked up in this last week or so. Uh, super excited about finally getting the uh, World of Nintendo 8-bit DK. I've been hunting for these figures for a while. Uh, I found this on the way to uh, pick up an arcade last Monday. I have opened it up, but I put it back in the box. Pretty cool. Real thin. But it's a $4 figure. I'm really excited. I really wanted to try to get all all of these, but they seem to be hard to find. I've shopped at like 20 different trips to Target and Toys R Us trying to find them. I was on my way to pick up this Ladybug Arcade up in the mountains. Uh, I love these Universal Arcade cabinets. They are beautiful. It was $100 on Craigslist. Jen's, uh, my wife ended up scoring it from a lady. I had to take off a couple hours of work to go pick it up. Um, but unfortunately another guy in, in our group really wants this more than I do. So I'm going to go ahead and let him get it. But next time I come across one, uh, I'm keeping it no matter what it is. Um, it doesn't work. There's some issues with the wiring that need to be taken care of. Uh, but it's pretty solid arcade. A uh, lady said that she went to buy some uh, bunk beds and uh, the guy threw in this game for free for her. So I, I paid her 100 bucks. I think I drove an hour and a half up into to Mount Airy, North Carolina for it. So um, Ladybug's not a very popular game, but... These universal cabinets are just so unique with their curves. They're just really sexy. Uh, next thing I got was my uh, Miracle Piano NES uh, cart. I had to cheat. I had to order this one off of eBay. Um, I need some way to test it. I got the Miracle Piano over here. Uh, I found a way... Uh, to career the miracle piano I got is just the box the power cord and that was it no game but I found online a way to create your own uh, connector so I created my own connector uh, off of a broken NES uh, cord I had um, so now I just got to get an NES since uh, I sold mine to somebody who needed it more. Since I had the Retron, I wasn't really worried about keeping keeping it. So that's what I got there. Next thing I got, I picked up a few more of these Lego uh, monsters. You know, I've been hitting up Target a bit looking for those Nintendo figs. I hate going walking out empty-handed, so... I pick up a few of uh, a few of these little monster guys. Uh, the next thing I found was actually found a Garfield that Jen didn't have. Imagine out of all these Garfields, actually finding one that she doesn't have. I eventually found the Mario 8-bit figure. So. He's going to go here in the arcade room on top of the Super Mario Brothers arcade. Uh, also, we went to a very hipster place. We spied this Donkey Kong a few months back and finally decided to go back and if it was still there, pick it up. So, And lo and behold, he was still there. So he's chillaxing on top of the DK. Um, then uh, Friday I picked up some more uh, World of Nintendo figures. I found Luigi and Link. And I've already got Fire Mario, which I just opened up. Really awesome figure. I also snagged this pink Yoshi. But I already have a pink Yoshi. From the 2005. So they're very similar. 
So for this Yoshi, the mouth is closed. This Yoshi, the mouth is open. And as you can see, I've got a green Yoshi already from that line and a yellow Yoshi from the 2005 release. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it or go ahead and get rid of it. And then I also picked up a couple more Amiibos. I hadn't really thought about collecting this, but figured Toys R Us had buy two, two for $20 or two for $22. It's a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and got Bowser Jr. And I got a Fox. I've never had a Fox figure seen before. Um, there's supposed to be one in the world of Nintendo, but that wave seems to be pretty tough to find. Uh, we bought this centipede uh, cocktail uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, from a guy up in Maryland, Coin Op Warehouse. Uh, untested, I think we paid 300 bucks for it, is what he had. He had said, I hadn't even opened it up. That was the price, and he said, we're going to want more if he tested it out. Uh, we got it home, fired it up, and the monitor powered up. Um, I got it to coin up, and it was playing, but you couldn't see anything. Made some uh, monitor adjustments and it started firing and playing just fine. So that was a steal, I think, at 300 bucks. So that will definitely be going upstairs into the collection. Uh, Sunday, I stopped at an antique mall and picked up this Get Along Gang uh, soda shop. Uh, I seen this a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I snapped some pictures and my buddy uh, Jason Duvall from Toy World Order was ecstatic and said he definitely wanted it so I swung back and picked it up and I also got the lady to throw in this uh, moose I forget what his name is Monty Moose maybe or something like that I, I'll have to look it up but I don't really collect the line but I remember Get Along Gang from uh, being a kid so I may keep the figure I don't think it came with the soda shop. I'll have to check with Jason. Uh, also out and about, uh, stopped off at a Goodwill and found this pit card game from 1964. I've seen several pit card games before, but this is the first time I've seen one that old that is still, you see the cards are still in the package. So I thought that was pretty cool seeing a card game from 1964 still sealed, never been played with. Uh, then uh, Jen made uh, friends with a couple guys. And he's like, my dad has a whole bunch of arcade stuff from uh, when he used to work an arcade route that he was wanting to get rid of. So we end up now having a full-size Galaga. Uh, haven't checked it out yet have a wonderful Atari Dig Dug. Blech. I just hate Atari cabinets. They're so darn heavy. Uh, we have this. The Pac-Man cabinet is a swords, magic sword. Uh, that's pretty much what we have to do for these games is that we have to uh, repair that game for him and he's given us the rest of this stuff for free. And we got this Area 51. We have monitors, we've got boards, and boxes of stuff. Brand new old stock monitor still in the box. Uh, all kinds of boards. Um, there's a Simpsons board that I threw in an arcade upstairs and it works. So, gonna have our hands full. A uh, box full of guns. I went through most of them look to be like a couple of them look to be like brand spanking new so that was pretty cool uh, but yeah we got to work it and get that one machine working for them and this is the crazy pickup we went to a place called the junk shop or no junk sale uh, where we got that Donkey Kong and found these indoor waterfalls